one step at a time. And this is the step she's going to take right now to the Malta Eurovision Song Contest 2018. It's Danica who's with us now. Hello, Danica. How are you? Good to see you again. <laughs> Hi, I'm very, I'm very fine. Thank you. Um, it's good to be here. It's good to be back. Uh, what is it for feeling to be on that red carpet? Feels good. Uh, feels yeah. very good. Yes, and, and being with my team, you know, mm. it's very important. I mean, everyone who's been asking me, my team is very important to me. They are my backbone. Who, who is in the team? Maybe you can give us a quick yes, introduction. Of course, so I have two backing vocalists, which are Kaya and Dario Bezina. I have mm -hmm. Warren Bonello as a dancer. And obviously I have my, my makeup artist, Shasha. Mm -hmm. I, I have Antonio as well with me. I have my brother. And I have my godmother, Claire. Wow. Says, Hello. From yeah, here. Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. Now, Claudia Fanello has just been receiving you on the red carpet. Yes. What did, did she tell you? Any advice for how to go about this national final here well, today? Well, Claudia, I am a big fan of Claudia and she is a very good friend as well. So mm -hmm. we've been chatting, you know, a bit there and then. But, you know, she, she gave me some advice back even when I was young, eh? Mm -hmm. We've been friends a long time. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I think the most thing she always says is to be myself. Mm -hmm. And I always be myself, you know? Uh, how many times have you been doing the national final now? Five years. So it's five ti fifth time now. <laughs> yes. Uh, so how do you feel about this time, this particular time, the fifth time? I think it's something very different, you know? Mm -hmm. And this time I've changed the style, I've changed my look, I've changed mm -hmm. everything. I think it's... People are loving, are loving it. I'm mm -hmm. loving it. So okay, it's so, going well, so yeah. something nice and, and in, in the in the good spirits yes. as well. You are. The song is called One Step at a Time. And uh, can you tell us what is the song about? What's the message you're trying to bring across with this song? Um, basically, it is the way everyone should take life as it comes, one step at a time. There's no need to rush. Life mm -hmm. is beautiful. And I believe in that, you know, like it's beautiful. It's, it's where it's wild to enjoy it. The, over the years that we have been meeting, and this exactly fits for your personality, this song. I really yes. think that, that this is made for you. Uh, the team of songwriters is, is, may, is, is massive. Uh, can you give a mention to the guys that, that wrote the song as well as uh, how did you find each other to create that song? So basically, um, I found them through Sweden songs and um, I got speaking to John Ballard, which is the producer of the song. He's mm -hmm. also the producer of Ace of Base. And, you know, we got speaking, they, they told me, listen, we have this song, we think it fits really good with you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's different, but I can give it a try, you know? Mm -hmm. We tried it and we're here, so... So how bad do you want to go to the Eurovision Song Contest to Lisbon? I think everyone wants to go, mm -hmm. but I leave it in the hands of the jury and of the public. If I'm good enough, mm -hmm. they want me to go. I think I want to go, you know, but it depends what did they you, want. Did you watch last year's Eurovision Song Contest? <laughs> yes, I watched it from home because okay. I wasn't here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you think of, of Salvador, of the song that won? It's, uh, I love it. Now these days, your vision has changed. There's no live orchestra anymore. There's backing tracks only. Uh, would you prefer, prefer to sing with an orchestra? Have you ever sang with an orchestra? Yes, I, I've sang with an orchestra as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, having a live, you know, orchestra is much, it's mm -hmm. much nicer. It's a much nicer experience. Okay. But then you you lose some of the effects, you know, you have. Mm -hmm. So it depends. It's, uh, <laughs> with which situation. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, Danica, what is the plan for after the Eurovision Song Contest regarding your music, musical career? What, are you bringing some new material onto the market? Well, I, I, I always work, you know, every year for the Eurovision. So mm -hmm. we're thinking again what we can do, what we can change. So, so basically, as from from the, the result tonight, we, we start we planning for next year's entry. Yes. Wow, well, Danica, all the best of luck for one step yes. at a time at the Motor Eurovision 2018. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thank Could you sing a little bit of the song for us, please? <laughs> one step at a time. One step at a time. One step at a time. And that's the song. Thank you very much.